Hello everyone, my name is Jared, and I'm here to introduce you to our most recently added exchange and personal favorite, OKX, and how to integrate both OKX Spot and Futures with three commas. For the rest of this year with the OKX Exchange, you're able to use all of three commas tools without any payment required. Don't miss out on this profitable opportunity. But without any further delay, let's get into this video. All right, now that we're on the OKX Exchange website, we're going to go up to the top right and click sign up. Next, we're going to need to enter an email address that we're going to use to log in. And we're going to have to enter a password that must have eight to 32 characters, one uppercase character, one lowercase character, a number and a symbol. After this, you're going to click sign up and you're going to have to solve this quick puzzle. And next, it's going to send you an email to the email you have entered previously. So you're going to want to navigate over to there, find the email they sent to you, copy the code that they gave you, and then paste it in the section on their website. There we are, we're now on the OKX exchange, logged in. So let's say we already have funds on this account. So we're gonna go up to trade and then click contracts and margin trading because we wanna enable futures. We're gonna go ahead and select spots and derivatives. That's just the experience I've had. Next, you're gonna click upgrade for trading. You're gonna select one of these options here. I'm gonna select single currency margin. You can read the trading agreements and the user agreements below by clicking these little blue links, or you can click confirm to agree to them. And there we are. Futures is now activated on this account. Next, we're gonna go over to the API section. We can do that by going to the top right, going over the little person and then clicking API. And here you can see we're going to need a mobile number or Google Authenticator to be able to create an API. We're going to use Google Authenticator here, and this is how you're going to do it. It's going to take you to this page. You're going to scan one of those QR codes at the top to download the app. So once you have the Authenticator app, you're going to open the app and scan the QR code in the middle or enter the key below it to get the unique six digit code that changes every 30 seconds that you would enter at the bottom. But you're going to need the email code first, and you'll get that by clicking get code and then going back to your email, grabbing it, and pasting it where it belongs. After you do that, then you would type in the Authenticator app code, because it changes. And there we are, we now have it set up for two-factor authentication, and it should allow us to create an API key. We can get back to the API section by going to the top of the section and clicking API. Then we click the Create V5 API key in the top right. Next, you're going to want to give the API key a name. We're going to just put three commas test, a passphrase. This passphrase is going to need to be the same that you put on three commas when linking the API. It also has the same rules as the password that you set for your account. You're not allowed to use any IP address whitelisting since we're made up of hundreds of IPs. So leave that blank, go down to permissions and click trade. Next, you're going to want to copy that passphrase so you don't lose it and then click confirm. It'll also do the thing where you need to get the code from your email, go back to your email and paste it. And then you're going to need to get the authentication app code again. And there we are. We have our API key. So now we're going to go ahead and link this to three commas. We're going to go over to three commas, go to my portfolio, and then you're going to go to the very right side and click connect a new account. You're going to then select OKX, and then you're going to want to give it a name. It doesn't have to be the same as the API you entered on OKX. You're going to want to paste the API key over, and you do this by going over to it, highlighting it, right clicking, and clicking copy. Then you go back to three commas, you right click the section, and click paste. Do the same thing with the API secrets. Do not share any of this information with anyone. This information is only for your eyes. Lastly, you're going to want to paste the passphrase you currently have for the API. And there we go. 
You can choose your exchange types, either the spot account or the future. You can have them both enabled too, obviously. But as you can see, they are now connected. If I scroll down here, you'll see three commas testing for OKX futures and OKX spot. If you don't see any funds, you may not have any, or you did not fund your trading account on the OKX exchange. We have an article and a video below that goes over how to do this. If you have your OKX spot exchange linked to three commas, but not your futures exchange, and you would like to link your futures exchange to three commas, all you would need to do is go to my portfolio page. You would then click on connect a new account and select the OKX exchange. Lastly, you would input your API information again and connect the API. The OKX exchange is a great exchange option and is a well-supported one here on three commas. That's going to wrap up this video. Thanks so much for watching. And if it's not too much trouble, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much and happy trading.